Welcome to Simple and Savored's Build Your Kitchen Confidence series. Today we are chopping and slicing celery. First thing we're going to need to do is uh, just cut it off right here and then I'm going to go take it to the sink and wash it up. Run cold running water over it, uh, scrub it. Uh, celery has a tendency to have some dirt inside the head here. Um, and if you do want to just clean and prep uh, the whole head, that's a great idea. A lot of times they'll come in plastic bags so you can clean them and prep them and just slide them back in the plastic bag. And then they're ready to go and ready to save a little time um, having to do any cleaning stuff. Do it all at once, get it out of the way. I'll be back. Okay, we are back from cleaning the celery. And essentially, like I said, we just split off the, the base here. And then you have all these leaves, if you have not done this before and uh, just wash down here. This is where it's really dirty and um, kind of in these crevices too. So some things, so different people do things different ways. So my thinking is find your way that's gonna work for you. A lot of people don't use the, the leaf part. It's some of the best, most flavorful part. If you don't wanna use that, um, don't. If you do, do. It's really good if you save these um, for a vegetable stock. If you'd like to make vegetable stock out of uh, celery, carrots, um, just the pieces that you would typically throw in the garbage are very useful. So I, I love those. I always save those. If I don't put them up, chop them up and put them in a stir fry. So several different ways to prep uh, celery. And in recipes, you'll be asked to do them differently. Sometimes it might be sliced. Sometimes it might be sliced on a bias. Sometimes you might be asked to dice or chop. Um, so I'm gonna show you just a couple basic ways and then let you essentially kind of create your own style. So typically, if you're just slicing, let's see, let's put these over here. You could just take one and leave it like this. It's easier if you put it on this side so it won't roll on you. Remember the don't cut your fingers off uh, element. And essentially we're just gonna be working back this way. Notice how my knuckle is out here. So you're gonna anchor your knife just like a hinge. It never comes off the counter. This is a really safe way to do it. And uh, one method that people do, I like it. So. The knife blade never comes up over your knuckle, so you would slice it. So if your knuckle is pushing it and guiding it, um, you'll just build your confidence that you're not going to cut yourself. So you just kind of take it. And so uh, what I'm doing is I'm pushing the knife forward and essentially kind of sawing. A knife is a really fine saw if you think about it. It's just you can't see the blades without a microscope. So you're just creating slices like this. So there's one way. That would be sliced. Um, let's use the same one. So this is slicing on a bias. So instead of cutting this way, you're just going to change the angle of the celery. And this is a, a lot of Asian cut this way. I think it increases the surface area so it cooks faster. So your celery just is a little longer and can be thinner. Just depends on how you want to do that. So that's another way. If you are being asked to dice, um, depending on the size of the celery, so this is a larger stock, you can come in. I'm just going to cut these into small pieces. You can come in like this and cut this stock into three or four pieces like that or cut it in half and your product's just gonna be a little different so let's use the same knuckle technique just keep moving the fingers back and you come up with more of a square or dice shaped so a little bigger dice Sometimes I grew up in a house that always had celery and carrots in the refrigerator. 
So if you're looking for something that's crunchy and, and refreshing and tastes really great for a snack versus uh, something that might be prepared, you could cut this into more of a julienne, a long, thinner piece. This is a big julienne, but um, that's another way you could prepare that. If your kids like something crunchy and wonderful to snack on, these are great snacks. Just put in a little bowl of water, put it in the fridge. If you were, and I don't know that I've ever seen to be asked to mince celery, but if you were, you're just going to cut it into smaller juliennes or match sticks and just make the width of the cut on all of them smaller. So you're coming up with little, little dice or more of a minced size. So I'm going to go really small on this one. The more pieces you have, the uh, kind of harder it is to hold. So you might just reduce the number of pieces that you would have in your fingers. So there's a, even a smaller one. And a great way just to practice, to build your kitchen confidence, is take one of these or one of the little skinny ones and just practice. Do it really slow. And I did that for about six or eight years in the kitchens and I got really fast. <laughs> so uh, that's what a few years of practice can do for you. So essentially, we have more of a small dice or a mince, a diced, julienned, sliced on a bias, and sliced straight. So that is prepping celery. Never knew there were so many things to do with celery. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. I'd love to see you in the next video. And uh, we are here. Tino is hungry for celery, I guess. That's our Italian greyhound. He's standing to the side of me. Um, wanting dinner for whatever reason about five hours before it's ready. So uh, do join us and uh, check out our other playlists uh, that I will put up right here and we'll see you in the next video. And remember, be nice to you. You're worth it.